welcome to all of you on this validatory function of five days FDP, Atal FDP, organized by the Department of Management Mizoram University and sponsored by AICT on organizational behavior. I feel very proud and privileged to welcome all of you on this great occasion of five days FDP validatory function. In this validatory function, uh, nearly 200 participants were selected, though maximum uh, 250 can apply, and uh, they applied. And uh, yes, Professor Ganga Prasad sir, Prasen sir joined. So we are just asking him to unmute, and after that, then we can start again. Yes. Yes, he will speak in between. He is on the line. So 200 participants joined, and nearly more than 150 participants are attending seriously this function. And taking this opportunity, I can welcome Honorable Chief Guest of this validatory function, Professor Ganga Prasad Prasen, sir, who is very busy, but still he consented to be the chief guest of this validatory function. Professor Prasen is the Vice Chancellor of the Tripura University, and before joining as the Vice Chancellor of Tripura University, sir was Dean Faculty of Social Science in Manipur University. Professor Prasen is a very dynamic academic leader. And he always help also our department also, and time to time he guide also. Taking this opportunity, I would also like to sincere welcome the guest of honor of this validatory function, Professor Nimit Chaudhary, sir, who is the founder head department of management and at present professor in Jamia Milia Islamia. And he is the adjunct professor in so many universities in the foreign countries. Taking all name is difficult here. I would also like to welcome our former head, Professor L.S. Sarma, sir, who always guide us without his support. It is very difficult to organize any function. I welcome you, sir. I would also like to welcome Dr. Lal Rupui, Assistant Professor in the Department of Management. I sincerely welcome all the resource person, participants, from all over country who had delivered the lecture, spent time and provided their blessings to me and our department for successful completion of these programs. Without taking their name, it will be injustice for me because their contribution is a lot. Professor Harika Bohra from I am Ahmedabad she started uh, the function and she has uh, delivered the keynote address with a very exciting address. Professor Sudipti Banerjee, sir, who always guide us and being a very senior professor, always support us and without any hesitation, we can ask anything and he is also with us. So I welcome. Professor Banerjee, sir. I welcome Professor Ajay Bak, sir, Dean, Faculty of Management in uh, Amar Kantak, Indira Gandhi National Tribal University. Dr. Sasi Srivastav from BHU, Professor Avjit Singh from Banaras Hindu University, Dr. Soumya Singh, Head Department of Management, IIT, IISM Dhanbad, Professor Jyoti Kumar, sir, Head. Department of Commerce and Management, Professor Bhartendu, sir, Department of Commerce, Mizoram University, Professor Abhinas Pathardikar, sir, Dean, Faculty of Management, Purvanchal University, Jaunpur, and Professor R. Sivram Prasad, sir, Dean, Faculty of Management Studies, Nagarjun University, Professor W. C. Singh, sir, Registrar, Manipur University, 
despite his very busy schedule he has spent a time to us dr kartikeyan sir professor monica prasad madam from iit tm uh, noida and professor nimit choudhary sir who delivered the lecture and most of the participants appreciated their lecture asking for their ppt they are in interaction with the participants so once again i welcome all the dignitaries and uh, all the uh, welcome all the dignitaries and thankful for their blessings now i would like to request professor ls sharma sir to say few words thank you very much dr amit kumar singh uh, current hod as well as the organizer of this program uh, with the permission from the chief guest of the function professor gp prasain uh, honorable vice chancellor tripura central university and uh, guest of honor professor nimit choudhury head department of tourism and hospitality management jamia millia islamia university new delhi uh my colleague dr lal ropui uh my colleagues from the department as well as uh eminent professors who have joined the program to this validatory section i welcome you all to this program of this validatory function once again uh it has been said that Uh, if you spend an hour in the company of a scholar it is worth reading a hundred books and i think this is the time where we have done a lot of interactions with such well known scholars and i do believe that lots of people may have gained a lot of things from this from these interactions and now is the time of validation and the validation is the time that actually yields into a flurry of emotions and feelings most of them being pleasant and some of them being unpleasant also pleasant on account of feelings of accomplishment i think lots of things has been achieved there has been a lot of acquisition of knowledge and of course there is an happiness of going back to the normal routine work of the days also and of course teaching online and so on and this is how we move our lives on so at the end of the culmination of this one week ai city sponsored fdp atal fdp program on organization behavior it is also very much gratifying to present a gist of the proceedings that went by during the previous week so altogether we had 15 faculty members from different institutions colleges as well as universities of india who had given lectures for this several types of interactions in the form of intellectual discourses exchange of ideas uh, some of the brainstorming sessions lectures and so on and these are like bouquets of flowers so and these bouquets of flowers have different colors different hues and different fragrances you may find some of the lectures very much colorful some of the lectures may be a little bit uh, subdued in color but has a lot of value systems so uh, we have had a whole lot of varieties of interaction and all the kudos goes to our organizers dr amit kumar singh and the co coordinator of the program dr vidhu kanti das and they were able to get a variety of resource persons from diverse teams of academic disciplines 
and some of the feedbacks that we have been getting every now and then from these participants that the invited resource persons are very, very resourceful. They are very eloquent and they are very articulate in putting across their viewpoints. And particularly, we would like to mention the lectures given by Professor Nihari Kawara, Professor Nimit Chaudhuri. These are some of the things, gems that we uh, have found during the times of interactions. And of course, there are maybe some of the presentations which may have been found to be a little bit insipid, but that also is a variety where you gain a lot of shared knowledge and you also get some of the wisdom from these uh, presentations. They also give a lot of lifetime experiences, giving some of the life examples, uh, and some of the efforts they have put in into their research areas. So they also give a lot of participants in terms of about how to overcome some of the difficulties while in the pursuit of academic goals and missions. And that is surely going to stand with them in the long time to come around in the future. I would also like to name some of the eminent resource persons which Dr. Amit Kumar has already mentioned, and maybe just a few lines about them. As I have already said in the, uh, in the inaugural session, Professor Niharika Vora, the, the, the professor who had given the, uh, the expert talk in the inaugural session, is one of those persons who has, I mean, who has authored several books with the father of organizational behavior, Stephen Robbins. I mean, just getting such kind of uh, uh, professor to give the inaugural session is such a wonderful gem. Uh, we also had uh, uh, several professors, just to name a few, Professor Ajay worked from uh, Department of Business Management, Indira Gandhi National Tribal University, uh, Dr. Shashi Srivastav from Banaras Hindu University, Dr. Somaya Singh from IIT ISM Dhanbad, Professor Nixon Singh from Bodolan University, uh, Professor Jyoti Kumar from Mizoram University, uh, Professor Sudipti Banerjee, who is a very well known person in the Northeastern region as well as in the Eastern part of India from Department of Commerce, University of Calcutta, uh, Professor P. Kathikayan, uh, Department of Management Studies, Periyar University, Professor Abhijit Singh from Banaras Hindu University, uh, Professor Bhatindu Singh again from Mizoram University, uh, Professor R. Sivaram Prasad uh, from Acharya Nagarjuna University, Professor Monika Prakash from Indian Institute of Tourism and Travel Management, New Delhi, uh, Professor Avinash D. Uh, Pathar Dikar from uh, B.V. Singh Purvanchal University, and of course, Professor Nimit Chaudhary, who concluded the session uh, from Department of Tourism and Hospitality from Jamia Mia Islamia University. The content of the, uh, the overall session on the FDP program, we have tried to bring in the three aspects of organizational behavior, the individual person, the groups, and the organization itself. So we have tried to cover looking into the individual perspectives in terms of motivation, value, attitude, uh, leadership, then in terms of uh, the groups, the group dynamics, talking about the power and influence of groups, then looking in from the organization point of view, the organization culture, the organizational strategy, uh, cross-cultural communication, uh, developing teams and organizational decision making. So the major thrust of the FDP program was led upon the basic modalities of teaching and learning process of organizational behavior. And among those lectures, some of the lectures, one of the lectures particularly dealt with stress management and yoga as a tool for stress management. Overall, 
it was a great learning opportunity for the participants. We are quite sure that, and we do hope that this FDP program must have been a stimulating and invigorating experience where lessons learned will stand a good stead in their day to day to refresh the knowledge of teaching organizational behavior and that will in turn immensely benefit their students. We invite all the participants of the FDP program to give a valuable suggestions and feedback so that we may improvise upon the design and conduct of such courses in the near future. At the end, I again, once again, express our gratitude to Honorable Chief Guest, Professor GP Prasine, for sparing time out of his hectic schedule and gracing this occasion with his August presence out here. Thank you very much once again. So it seems Dr. Amit Singh is having a problem. So uh, as per the program schedule, I would like to uh, request uh, our guest of honor, uh, Professor Nimit Chaudhary, uh, Head Department of Tourism and Hospitality Management, Jamia Mia Islamia University, New Delhi, uh, to address this uh, as the guest of honor. Thank you, Sharmaji. Uh, chief guest uh, for the occasion, Professor Persang, uh, organizer for this uh, FDP program, Dr. Amit, my good friends, Professor Sharma, Professor Nixon, I could say Nixon, and uh, faculty members, Ms. Lal Rupui, uh, Rajkumar, Gridhariji was also here, Bidhu Kantidas, uh, participants of the FDP. Uh, again, a very good evening to all of you. And uh, before anything else, I must place on record my appreciation for the organizers to have invited me to this program and to the valedictory session to be able to share my thoughts and spend some time uh, in the intellectual company. I would also like to take uh, this occasion to congratulate uh, Professor Persai for taking over as uh, the Vice Chancellor of Central University of Tripura. We met long, long time back and- uh, Thank you so much, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. thank you, sir. Well, and uh, <clears throat> uh, as I was discussing uh, during my session, you know, some time back, uh, for us as human beings, for us as individuals, making uh, a sense of the world around us is important. And uh, uh, as individual, it is a natural uh, desire to make a choice of uh, uh, to make uh, to have information so that we are more certain about things happening around us and in a bit to do this we would always like to predict behavior of the person in front of us we would always like to know and it, we are better placed and we consider ourselves better placed and we understand how would a person uh, in front of us react to a particular situation behave in a uh, particular situation both as an individual or as a group, as a cohort of persons, how are they going to behave? How uh, go and work, uh, start working at a new organization because we are all teachers of management. So if I as a manager start working at a different place, at a new place, how are these people going to behave? How are these people going to react? Because they come from, they definitely come. Compared to what uh, I do, and therefore this is uh, understanding of human behavior is very very important. 
the other thing which is very important for all of us, which is uh, getting important for us, is the use and role of technology in our lives. Because I said cultures change, behaviors change, aspirations change, and we understand it as in students of management. Therefore, our demands also change. Our demand in terms of technology changes. And when we get this technology, we further adapt our behavior to match or to integrate the use of technology in our day-to-day -day behaviors, in our day-to-day -day things. And therefore, this integration of technology and behavior is also important. We always live in unprecedented times and uncertain times. And what more can we understand as we transit this faculty development program through the use of technology? And the only place where we as a speakers, you also, because most of you are teachers and have been busy you know, handling students and other academic activities through the use of technology, you must have struggled about uh, you know, the uncertainty related to the behavior of all the stakeholders. And all I think that this uh, faculty development program was there for a very, very timely and useful intervention as designed and proposed by Department of Management, uh, University of Mizoram. I understand the kind of challenges the department must have faced, but still, uh, I would uh, appreciate them for this uh, great effort. And as Amit introduced at the beginning of my session, and that uh, I always feel myself as part of this department. And uh, he also uh, ensured that the first set of teachers who came to work for this department in 2007 were almost all of them we were here. So I feel so proud of the department and I feel so grateful to the colleagues in the department to have remembered me, to have invited me for this uh, workshop. Uh, for the participants, I know you have been good participants. Amit told me, other friends told me that you have been diligently participating in all the sessions and I believe as I just listened to Amit and then Professor Sharma, that you all participated uh, diligently and perhaps uh, learned uh, a lot from this, uh, these sessions. So I wish all of you good luck and uh, thank you. Thanks to the organizer and thank you all for having me here. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir for your valedictory uh, speech and giving you all your support. As the participants has already... Uh, yes, sir. As participants have already given your feedback, so how I Professor, 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 Sashi Kumar Sharma, uh, Dr. Amit Kumar Singh, uh, head of Department of Management, Mizoram University. Uh, my friend, Professor um, Nimit Choudhury, who is head uh, Department of Journalism and Tourism uh, Hospitality in Jamia Milia Islamia University, New Delhi, who is guest of honor in this program. Uh, Professor Jyoti Kumar from Mizoram University, Professor Nixon Singh, Professor of Management and now uh, Finance Officer, Bodolan University. My esteemed student, Professor L. Sashikumar Sharma, former head department of management, uh, Mizoram University. Professor Bharat Pendu Singh from Mizoram University. Uh, other uh, faculty member of uh, management and commerce of uh, Mizoram University, uh, 
resource person who have uh, deliver important lectures during this uh, uh, faculty development program uh, whether uh, students participant ladies and gentlemen good afternoon and greetings from tirpura university agartala mm, at the very outset uh, i would like to thank uh, uh, dr amit kumar singh and his colleague for inviting me as a chief guest in this validatory function of uh, this uh, program uh, that is faculty development program on the organizational behavior uh, i consider this as a great honor and respect shown to me by the faculty member of uh, mizoram university uh, my students are also there in both uh, commerce and management department in mizoram university they are doing very good job i am proud of them that student of manipur university whom i have taught are working as a professor head finance officer in this universities in different universities so we are proud of our former student who are doing very good job uh, in different university in northeast india and outside northeast india also mm -hmm. uh, now coming to the topic of this uh, program that is uh, uh, mizoram university has conducted a, a faculty development program on organizational behavior organizational is a place where people belonging to different group uh, different uh, with a different educational background belonging to different community different caste different religion different creed and also from different state and not only different state even from different countries are working together sitting together doing their job together so it is a place where mindset of people belonging to different educational background different religious background different qualification and also having different uh, thinking they they meet together sit together discuss together work together for the betterment of organization now how to work together how to have a group team so team spirit uh, of all these people is very very important so here uh, in this organizational behavior we have to also know the industrial cycle whenever we talk about industrial uh, this organizational behavior we also discuss about the industrial psychology that means the psychology of people their their mindset their thinking for the organization and we all know that unless and until our employee who are working in organization do not work properly then that organization will not grow the ultimate success of an organization depend on the commitment punctuality sincerity vision and dedication of those employees and those officers who are working in the organization in different capacity a person may be of low rank high rank he may be highly qualified he may be not so highly qualified he may be a grade 4 p on section officer officer whatever but team work is very very important organization cannot be run by single person organization is run by a team of uh, employees officers who are working in the organization like university which is a family consisting of students employees research scholar faculty member then only uh, it will grow so organization also depend on the performance of the employees or staff who are working in the organization ultimately the success and failure of any organization depend on the staff or employee who have been working in the organization therefore uh, i found that uh, dr amit kumar singh and his colleague have chosen a very very important topic for this faculty development program i came to know that uh, they have invited resource person from different universities of uh, northeast india eastern part of india and also beyond that region including from banaras from amar kantak they could invite a very known research person in the field of uh, uh, this uh, topic uh, organizational behavior which is a very very important topic so as a uh, teacher of commerce and human resource management i consider human resource management at the most important resource we can buy computer we can construct building we can have uh, money but if we do not have good human resource to coordinate uh, other resources like infrastructure then organization cannot grow so i consider human resource is the most important resource
for development and success of any organization. So this very topic, that is organizational behavior, is a very, very important part of human resource management. Therefore, selection of this topic for such a program is very timely, very important, very necessary also. Uh, I congratulate uh, uh, faculty member of uh, management department of Mizoram University for uh, successfully organizing such a wonderful program. And this ultimately have helped uh, those participants, participants, listener, and those who are involved in this program. Because the knowledge which we give, which we gain by attending such program, will apply that knowledge, that experience again uh, to our institution where we shall be working. This type of training program is very, very necessary to update participants and ourselves also. During this COVID-19 pandemic period also, I found Mizoram University organizing such type of webinar every day. I was checking the website of many universities, but I found that the maximum number of webinar and training program are being organized by Mizoram University. Uh, you are uh, you faculty member of Mizoram University are very lucky because your vice chancellor is a very, very dynamic, very motivated person. He always motivate you or under his guidance, uh, all the faculty members of different departments are regularly organizing webinar on very, very important topic. Therefore, I would like to congratulate uh, the faculty member of uh, management department as well as other department of Mizoram University who have been regularly organizing uh, webinar and training program on very, very important, very, very relevant topic of uh, uh, present day time. Uh, I, I once again uh, thank uh, um, all the faculty member, most of whom are my former students, for inviting me as a chief guest and giving me so much honor and respect. I wish uh, the program all success and I also wish this. I also wish that the management department and commerce department of Mizoram University uh, goes to new height and they become very, very popular and they become very, very scholars in this field. So thank you very much. Uh, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Namaskar. Respected sir, thanks for your very encouraging speech and blessings to us. Whatever you directed us, we will try to follow for the future development of the Department of Management Mizoram University. And always we will require your blessings and guidance for the yes. development of the department, sir. Yeah. I am ready for any kind of help. Thank you very much, sir, Dr. Ramit. Yes. I am ready. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Now, I would like to request Dr. Lal Ropui for proposing a formal vote of thanks. Ms. Ropui. Thank you, Amitji. Thank you, Amitji. First of all, I would like to give thanks to our God Almighty for allowing us to be alive today so that we can have this FDP program. Thank you to our God. And secondly, I would like to propose a vote of thanks to Professor J.B. J. B. Prasang, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Tripura University, for all the support the department in any academic activity, sir. We are very, very thankful to you, sir. And despite your busy schedule, you could spare your time this afternoon to be the chief guest today. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you to our guest of honor, Professor Nimbik Chaudhary, Head Department of Tourism and Hospitality Management, Jamia Milia Islamia University, New Delhi, for always support the department again, sir, and for your wonderful session this afternoon. Thank you, sir. We would like to hear from you again soon, sir. And yes, thank you to Professor L.S. Sharma for the constant support and your academic endeavor to bring forth the Department of Management for Excellence. Thank you for your support, sir. And Thank you to Dr. Amit Kumar Singh for very enthusiastic to welcome any academic relationship with other university, with outside university through webinar or through international webinar or national webinar. And with the help of Amitji, we have signed, the Department of Management also signed, uh, uh, I mean, Missouri University also signed an MOU with one of the Indonesian university. And Amitji, we are thankful for your hard work and for successfully conduct this FGP program. Thank you, Amitji. Thank you to uh, Dr. Bidu Kantidas for being successfully co-coordinator for this FGP program. And thank you to all the technical experts who, who work endlessly behind the 
uh, internet and like like dr prem singh i mean prem singh uh, for your support uh, for successfully conducting this fgp program thank you to all the participants for believing in the department of management and enrolling yourselves for this fgp program i hope you benefit you have truly benefited from this program thank you to all the dignitaries who have embraced the department of management as a resource person uh, thank you so much for being uh, able to like uh, share your uh, excellence in academic uh, i mean activities and we are for your uh, uh, for your successful successfully embrace the department as a resource person thank you so much to all the uh, but other participants and who are oh, hopefully we can like see you again soon thank you so much uh, thank you so much dr rupui okay. so with this uh, formal vote of thank with dr lal rupui once again i will thanks to all the dignitaries and especially professor prasen sir for giving his blessings so uh, with this uh, we will uh, not end but we will close this uh, validatory session and uh, fdp with the blessings and guidance of our chief guest and other speakers ki how we can forward whatever we learned here so those learning we will try to forward and always we will take the support of the eminent resource person for developing our department with this once again thanks to all of you thanks sir